On today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up step by step your own survey funnel. This tutorial will be twofold. The first part will be showing you a real life example of a survey funnel that we've previously utilized. And the second part will be taking you through the steps that you need to know to go out there and start setting up your own surveys. This will be quite a comprehensive tutorial, um, a lot of detail. Um, it will be very, very basic. Um, but at any point you need to, please pause and reconvene as and when you need to. So let's get going with part one. Solving the mystery of selling online courses. So this is a survey funnel that we used um, in the past for one of our live webinars. I just wanna show you the steps that we took um, and, and really how simple a survey can be. So we've got four pages. You'll see four pages there. The first page is the opt-in page. Second page is a thank you page. Third page is the survey page, and a fourth page again is a thank you page. So what we're gonna do is just copy this URL, and here we are into the opt-in page. Really, really simple uh, page template, um, live webinar, solving the mystery of selling online courses, bit of information about the time and date. You can add your brand logos, videos, images, all sorts. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's uh, register. My name is Martin, let's do, no, sorry, Martin plus um, 1616 at zenla.com, and my name is Martin. Okay, so now it takes us through to the next page, which is a thank you page. Awesome, hang on, can you do a quick survey to help tailor for future webinars? Take the quick survey. Of course I wanna do the survey. So here we are on the survey page itself. Quick survey to help us tailor the webinar series for you. Surveys are really important to understand your students, your clients a lot better, get feedback, um, and find out ultimately how to, how to sell, how to best serve. So here are the four questions, uh, ending with the email address option, which is automatic once you upload the form, and it's imperative in order to capture the information. So again, for the sake of time, let's just get through this very quickly. What are you struggling with right now? We've got a drop down menu, course development, course marketing, course sales, being a business owner and growing my business. Let's just stick with course development. Tell us a bit more about your pain. Um, growth, expansion. Any specific questions for James and Rakesh? Tell me all your Secrets. Finally, confirm your email address. Let's do martin plus one six one six to the zenla dot com. That is our survey, and then we're going to press submit, and we're going to come through to the final page, which again is the thank you page. Thank you for taking a quick survey. So that is how um, efficient surveys can be uh, for your students, for your your communities to find out best. For you to serve them. So now in part two we're going to take you through how to set up your own survey funnel. So within your marketing funnels in your admin back office let's go to create new funnel. Now you can attach a survey to anything okay it doesn't have to just be webinars it can be absolutely anything as long as you include the lead magnet. So here we've got the lead magnet the next we're going to call this uh, tutorial, tutorial, hmm. let's go yeah. survey tutorial. Don't need to add any freebie downloads or anything. So let's go to the next. And again, we've got seven templates here. We're, due to the initial part of this tutorial, the demo, we're used to the white opt-in. This uh, one here, the lady, so let's go over her and let's go finish. And now it will automatically bring up two pages for us, okay? The opt-in page and the thank you page. As it is at the moment, we don't have the survey page itself. So again, for the sake of time and convenience, we're just gonna clone the thank you page. And it'll ask you to clone a funnel step and press clone. So now we have three pages, opt-in page, thank you page, and thank you page. Let's tidy up this section a little bit. Opt-in page and survey tutorial is fine. Thank you page, let's change this to survey. And the URL, let's change this to survey as well. And update. And the thank you page itself, absolutely fine. So, so far, that's all looking good. So what we want to do, start on the opt-in page and let's go to edit. 
And again, this is going to be a very, very basic um, survey, folks. I mean, it's not going to be particularly comprehensive. It's more of a concept. Um, so you can make it as fancy, comprehensive and detailed as you want and spend ages playing around with it. There's just a few points that I really want to make clear um, just so you don't make the same mistakes that I have. So here we are. Uh, let's just edit this. Um, okay, to generate your free report, please complete my survey. Again, really simple. Free bonus, five steps. I don't particularly want this. I'm just going to highlight it and then dustbin, delete. This one for the sake of a video, yep, why not? Let's keep this. Um, please help me to uh, please help me to please help me to best serve you by uh, taking part in the survey. Cool, easy. Again, not particularly comprehensive, but it does the job. Yes, I want to grab it now. No, I want to change that. So by highlighting it, pressing on the settings tab, going through to settings here, uh, access survey here, yeah, easy enough. I don't, on the action, I don't want to open a pop-up. I would like it to go to a link. And the link that I'd like it to go to will be the second page, which is, in this case, the survey. So on the survey page here, simply copy the link, copy the URL, and add the URL into the link section there. Okay, so to me so far, that's all looking pretty good. Again, very basic, but um, you can see what I'm trying to do here. So as always, save it. Make sure you press the blue button at the top by saving it. And to me, that's the first page done. Again, you can change the images, you can brand it um, by uploading uh, your images into your video uh, library, into your media library. But for the sake of this tutorial, that for me right now is absolutely fine. So this is where it starts to get a little bit more technical. And this is the survey itself. And there's a few points I really, really need to emphasize here. So once the editor is loaded, we're going to start to input some forms and some elements and capture people's information. So, okay, again, you can make this as as uh, as pretty as you like. Um, so, please complete the below uh, survey. Sweet, okay. Uh, thank you for requesting a cheat sheet. So for here, I'm going to add a new element. Okay, you see when you highlight it and you can press the red um, plus button here and go to add new element. And what we want to add straight away is to go to search elements and go for form. And here you simply want to press on the form tab. And now it will give us the name here and the email address and the submit button. And by highlighting it, it'll come up with a purple outline. This is our new form, okay? This is where all of the survey information needs to go into. If you are to add any elements outside, questions outside of this particular form, it will not be captured properly. So you have to make sure that everything from here on is within this purple outlined form. Okay, so let's just get going. So by pressing inside the form, add new element, let's go to add new element and let's go to text. And press on this text icon here. Okay, so I'm just going to go with question one. Um, why are you here? You can highlight it. Make it a bit bigger, make it bold left align it and that's question one what i would like to do by keeping it in the form of course just moving it above that box there okay so that's question one and that's the text box now we need to add a new element again and search elements for input input is where the answer can be captured okay so the input is the enter text here 
Now within this box, you'll see that you've got a warning sign here, input type not set. We need to change that, okay? And that will make more sense towards the end of tutorial where you can capture the uh, lead information, the, the answer to the questions within your back office. But for now, let's go to settings. And let's go to settings here. And this is gonna be the placeholder. So you can just say, uh, why are you here, question mark. It is required, we require them to be answering these questions. Okay, and the input type, we don't want an email address, first name or last name or address, we want a custom. Okay, so you wanna do a custom type. And what I'm gonna call this is um, uh, tut, tut uh, serve underscore Q1. Okay, so tutorial survey underscore Q1, tut serve underscore Q1. Everything else here seems to be absolutely fine to me. So save that. And you see you've got question one, why are you here? And this is the input box. And it's called tute serve underscore Q1. So now you wanna highlight that, add a new element. Let's just do a second question. Let's do a text again. Press on this box. Again, it'll be exactly the same. Um, Question two, what are your expectations? Um, for the sake of this video, let's just make that a bit bigger. Let's bold it out and let's left align it. Okay, perfect. Add new element. And again, let's go for input. Enter your text. So again, input type not set. Go to settings, up here you go to settings, enter text, let's just add the placeholder. What are your expectations? It is required, and again the input type is a custom, and you'll see automatically it comes up with jute serve underscore q1, let's delete the q1 and make it q2. So second question. So now let's make it a bit more fancier. Add a new element and let's go, um, okay, let's go text again. Let's go three, uh, what is your occupation? Occupation, good. Eighteen, bold, or left align. Super. So now, again, adding a new element, search elements, and let's go for a drop down. Press on the drop down button here, and you'll see input type not set, settings, settings, it is required. The input type again is custom, and the name is tute serve underscore q3 serve underscore Q3, perfect. So, what is your occupation? This is gonna require a dropdown. So I've added in the dropdown box. Now we need to add new options. So occupations, the identifier is normally in capital letters and then we do the display text in capital then uh, lowercase. So identifier, let's do uh, sales, sales, add new, let's do developer, uh, Developer, let's do manager, manager. Okay, so custom options, to serve underscore Q3. It is required. That all looks good to me. Then we save it. Okay, perfect. So we've got three questions. Why are you here? What are your expectations? What is your occupation? We've got the name and the email address. Now let's change the submit button. Let's go settings. Settings here, submit, survey now. We don't need any subtext. We are going to submit the form. That's gonna be the action. We can choose an action afterwards you want to go to post submit action you want to go to link okay 
And now from the survey, we wanna be going through to the thank you page. So let's copy the link for the thank you page and paste the thank you page link into the post submit links. To me, that all seems pretty good now. Uh, submit survey now, again, the design, you can make the buttons a lot nicer, different colors, bigger, you can add uh, subtext is. Um, but again, for the sake of this tutorial, it's very, very basic. Submit survey now, um, it's gonna be a submit form. That to me all looks absolutely fine. So let's go to save. Uh, please complete the blow survey. Let's delete that. Let's delete this. And again, this is just a, a demo, of course, but you can change the logos, the images, you can add a video, you can add an intro video to yourself thanking them. Uh, but this for us for now looks good and it's all within the same form. You see, you've got a purple outline. Everything we need is within this purple form. So let's save all of this. Perfect. And let's now go through to the thank you page. I don't believe for the sake of this exercise we need to edit anything here. Um, again, the concept will, will make sense. So now we're gonna come through to the thank you page, which is post survey, where you can just say, thanks for completing the survey. Can't wait to uh, meet you on the next webinar or see you soon or keep an eye out for your email. So here it just says, you're sweet. Thank you for requesting a cheat sheet. Uh, obviously we don't need any of this, but for the sake of this tutorial, um, let's just keep it as it is. So now let's show you it in action. Okay, so let's just refresh this. Let's take the opt-in link. Let's go incognito. Oh, and let's hope it works. So here we are, page one. To generate your free report, please complete my survey. Please help me to best serve you by taking part in the survey. Access to survey here. Very nice. So why are you here? Um, well, domination. What are your expectations? Lots and lots. What is your occupation? I am, I'm a manager. So enter your name. into your email here, let's go for martin plus one 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 at sendler.com submit the survey okay and it goes through to a thank you page so in essence that is the survey let's now go back to your admin back office let's go to marketing funnels you'll see you've got the survey tutorial here and there's one lead Okay, so then you go to the Leads tab. And you see you've got my email address, martin11111 at zenla.com. So now let's go here. Question one, question two, question three. And you see, you've got my lead, Martin, my email address joined on the 17th of April. Um, I'm a lead. Question one is world domination, question two is lots and lots, and question three, I'm a manager. So once you've got 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, hundreds of these, you can export the CSV and have it as a downloadable file. So that today is a tutorial to show you how to set up surveys.